Hey, Algebra 2 Trig. Welcome back. Um, we are doing finishing off 4.4. We're going to do log equations. And the essential question is, how do I solve log equations? Okay, so what I'm going to do today is pretty much just go over four examples of problems you might see. And then you'll have to apply them to the problems that we do later on. What we did the last couple of days was exponential equations. And now, then we might have to have log both sides and whatnot. But today, you're going to start off with log equations, and then we might have to do something else. Okay, so example one is log base 5 of 5x plus 2 equals log base 5 of 2x minus 3. So much like the beginning exponential questions, um, if you look, I, I want to make it as simple as possible for myself. So if you look... Um, they're both log base 5, and it seems like they equal each other. So I can literally drop the logs, and I can make it 5x plus 2 equals 2x minus 3. And then from there, I'll just solve for x. So I'll subtract 2x from both sides. I will subtract 2 from both sides. So I'll end up with 3x equals negative 5. And then I'll divide by 3. So x equals negative 5 thirds. Um, what, you should, what would make it a good practice would be you would start plugging in just to make sure that um, you don't get a negative value in here because you cannot take a log of a negative number. So if I plug in, um, if, if I plug in x into here, I will get, just to check for extraneous solutions, So if I plug in here, I'll get log 5 of 5 times negative 5 thirds plus 2 equals log base 5 of 2 times negative 5 thirds minus 3. Okay, so that will give me log base 5 of... Well, this is negative 25 thirds plus 2. And this is log base 5 of negative 10 thirds minus 3. And then if I combine like terms, I mean, and get a... Uh, a common denominator, this will be 6 thirds, so this will be negative 19 thirds equals log base 5 of, this will be 9 thirds, so this will also be negative 19 thirds. And although they equal each other, you cannot take the log of a negative number, so actually this will be an extraneous solution. So there will be no solution. Um, Negative 5 thirds is actually extraneous. So just make sure you don't get a negative value in here, and it should, it should work out fine. Okay, so let's do example 2. Example 2 will be 7 plus 4 natural log of x equals 6. So from there, I will subtract 7. I'll get 4 natural log of x equals negative 1. And then I will divide by 4. Get natural log of x equals negative 1 fourth. And then at this point, I want x all by itself. And if you remember that e is the inverse of na the natural log, so I'm going to e both sides. So I'm actually going to e both sides. So now the natural log of x will become an exponent and the negative one-fourth will become an exponent. And then the, uh, the e and the natural log will cancel out, so I'll end up with x equals e to the negative one-fourth. You could also write it as one over e to the one-fourth. If you really wanted to go even further, you could write one over e to one over fourth root of e, it doesn't matter. And that was your answer. You can also put that in your calculator, okay? All right, let's do the third example. OK, 
Okay, the third example is 3 log base 4 of 3x equals 6. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, I want to solve for x. The 3 is bugging me, so I'll probably divide the whole thing by 3. So I'll get log base 4 of 3x equals 2. And then at this point, this is in log form, and it doesn't look like I can do anything. So let's try switching it to exponential form. So if I switch it to exponential form, it will be 4 squared equals 3x. And it looks like I can solve for x a lot easier. So it will be 16 equals 3x. I divide by 3. So now x would equal 16 over 3. And again, I'm still kind of checking whether um, I get a negative value. I know if I plug in uh, into the original equation, this will come out positive, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay? All right, the last example is the natural log of x plus 5 equals the natural log of x minus 1 minus the natural log of x plus 1. Okay, so if I look at this, I actually have to remember my log rules. So if I remember my log rules, um, I know if I'm subtracting, I'm dividing. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to write natural log of x plus 5 equals the natural log of x minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so if I look on both sides now, they're both natural logs. They have the same base, which is e. And I can probably drop the natural log, so I'll have x plus 5 equals x minus 1 over x plus 1. And from there, I can solve for x by multiplying x plus 1 on both sides. And then I'm going to foil that out. So that will become x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals x minus 1. Then I'll move everything to one side, so I'll subtract x, and I'll add 1. So it'll be x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And then like any quadratic, I, um, I'm going to always try to factor first, and it factors nicely, actually. So it'll be x plus 2, x plus 3 equals 0. And then if I solve for x, I set each equation equals 0, I'll find out that x equals negative 2 and negative 3. And again, I still want to plug it in just into the original equation to make sure that I, get extra, that I don't get any extraneous solutions. So if I plug in negative 2 in here, I will get the natural log of negative 2 plus 5 equals the natural log of negative 2 minus 1 minus the natural log of negative 2 plus 1. So I'll end up with natural log of 3 equals natural log of negative 3 minus the natural log of negative 1. So if you look, I'm taking the natural log of negative numbers, so 2 is actually extraneous. And, then, and you'll notice if I plug in negative 3, I actually end up with negative logs again, so they'll be extraneous as well. So therefore, Again, it's no solution. And it's not always going to be like this, but you should just plug it in and check. If you have any questions, um, write it on the side and we'll answer it tomorrow.